Hey guys, Operation iDroid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get an NES on your iDevice. So the first thing we're going to need is NES 80 plus, and then we're also going to have to add the source, the Insane the I repo. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to be showing you how to get it with NES ROMs D through G. Okay, let's get started. Number one, you're going to need a jailbroken iDevice, and then we're going to open Cydia. We're going to let Cydia load and we're going to go to the manage tab. Then we're going to click sources, top right, edit, top left, add. And we are going to add the insane the I repo. And it goes like this. R, E, P, O, period, I, N, S, A, N, E, L, Y, I, dot com. And we're going to click add anyway. I am going to click cancel, but you guys let it load, but I'm clicking cancel because I already have it. So once that finishes loading for you, you guys are going to click return to Cydia, and then we're going to go to the search tab. We are going to search NES and then space. And right here, as you can see, is NES 80 plus. And the reason we're getting this one is because it is iOS 5.0 and 5.01 compatible. So let's click on it. And as you can see, it loads perfectly and allows us to install it. So we're going to click top right install, top right confirm. So um, the reason we're getting this one is because it's free and it's iOS 5.0.1 and 5.0 compatible. And the only bad thing about this is that it has advertisements. Though they are not in the actual emulator, there are some advertisements there. So next thing we're going to do is search NES ROMs. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I just spelled that wrong. Um, NES and then ROMs. And as you can see, we'll get a prompt here, and you can see it has every ROM A through Z, but of course separate into packages. I'm just going to get D through G for demonstration purpose, but you guys can just choose whichever one you want. So again, top right install, top right confirm. Now, this is just one way of getting ROMs on the NES, but I find this the most effective way because... Um, usually ROMs from Cydia are um, less buggy, for lack of a better word. Like, they don't crash as much compared to ROMs you get on the internet. And um, I, with the Insane AI Source, we basically have every ROM A through Z. I'm not saying that it has every single ROM, but it has almost all of them A through Z. If you're looking for a single ROM, you can get it off the internet, but um, I really don't recommend that. Just get the package where you're single ROM is located it's not a big package it doesn't take that long a good 30 second wait and you'll have your ROM and your emulator and you'll be ready to play so this is just about done and we can continue on with the video okay so once it finishes loading it'll just throw everything down um, it'll say reloading data it'll say loading data and then it'll tell you to return to Cydia so we are going to return to Cydia and now we're gonna go home so that we can see our new emulator okay now that we're home we're gonna look for the icon on our springboard and there it is so it should look a little bit something like this that is the emulator that we shall be using to play NES as you can see under it says NES 80 plus so we're going to go ahead and click on that, it's got a nice GUI and as you can see on the top here this is what I was talking about the advertisements so as you can see it's not a big deal, it doesn't really bother but whatever, back to the point here is all the ROMs D through G that we got from the NES ROMs pack D through G so um, as you can see it's quite a lot of ROMs and I'm going to test it out with um, let's see here, uh, I'll test out with Final Fantasy. So, as you can see, when we run the actual game, there's no advertisements on the screen. So, really, it's not a big deal at all. So, let me get into the actual emulator and how we use it. So, as you can see, you run a game by clicking on it, but here we have some settings. Here we have the save states where you can change the actual like position where it's saved. We also have orientation, portrait, landscape, skin, 1 and 2. And we can turn the sound on or off, scale or Wiimote and stuff like that. As you can see, it also has achievements. The NES, when you saw that I opened it, I got an achievement. And, um, sorry, it crashed, but, um, that shouldn't happen to you. It only crashed on me because I'm using Display Recorder to record my screen and it kind of makes it crashy. 
but um besides the point and the last tab we have here is if you look all the way on the right the last one is active game and what it does if you go to the menu then you click active game it sends you right back to where you were in the game and also you can see the s here on the top that saves the game and the l loads the last save as you can see it said one so that I mean zero so it's on save state zero so you have to change it with every game um, thanks for watching operation idroid